All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back to another GFX Comet tutorial. Today, uh, it's going to be the first episode of the Simulator UI series. Uh, I'm going to use Tap in Legends as a reference to make it easier for me and easier for you guys to follow and understand uh, obviously we're going to change the colors and stuff up but uh, we're just going to use this for a reference uh, this is probably going to be the shortest episode or the shorter episode because um, we're just going to go over the HUD in this episode so first you're going to want to start by dragging holding alt and shift at the same time and then making a then you're going to control A, click this and this, and then you're going to want to click control D to get rid of um, the outside box. And then you want to go to here, and then click and drag. Or you can just type in, I'm going to change this to 40. Wait, no, not 40. Wait, 40 or 20? Um, let's do 25. Then you want to double click here, get your color, whatever color you decide to make it, and then blend in options, right click that, blend in options, stroke of <coughs> 4, inner shadow of, these are the settings, we'll change this 8 to 10, um, and then press OK. Now normally, uh, some people would make their own vectors, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to use uh, what I have found off the internet. So, we'll do the pet icon, the pets first. So, to change the size, you're going to want to hold Alt and drag. Like so. And then we're going to want to control A. Oops. We're going to want to control A, and then we're going to want to make sure it is centered. And then we're going to do the size like so. Uh, looks good. And then we're going to um, blend in options, color overlay, change it to white. Then we're going to select both of these. If you hold control and then click, you can select both. And then control G to make it into a thing. Then you want to copy and paste another one. Control C, control V. And then... You're going to want to complete this process for every single thing here. So you're going to want to make sure you have every single one of these. Alright, when you've done, once you've done all of that, got all those icons, you're going to want to go into the folder, uh, select both of these. <coughs> We're going to change it into an icon now. Um, a button, I mean. So you're going to want to control G with both of them selected, and then control E. That changes it into a button. There you go, and then you can resize, you can do whatever you want with that. So, you're going to want to complete this process for everything. Turn these off, you're going to want to merge. If you hold shift and control and click, you can select them all, control G, change this to icons. Alright. Next, we're going to move on to um, one of these money counters. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shift control again. And you're going to grab one of these. Um, change the color to this. To this. Control A. Control B. Alright. That's just a good tip for <coughs> if you need it. Alright. Then you want to get another one of these. But this time you're only going to hold shift. And you're going to want to make a cube. And then you're going to want to center it and then attach. You want to control, control T, hold shift and drag. And then that should be good enough. For this, you're going to want to turn off chain link because you don't want to change them all, right? And you want to do 20, 20. Then you can turn chain link back on for these 
and you're going to change it to 20. Alright. Then you're going to want to get your color from earlier, which I should have somewhere. Yeah, right here. There you go. And then you're going to want to change the color of these. And then you want to, for this one, bl uh, blend in options, right click, blend in options, inner shadow. We'll change the inner shadow on here to 8, and then stroke, and then we can copy layer style, paste layer style, and then double click this. We're going to want to change inner shadow to 10. And then we're going to want to move that above that. So when you merge them, it'll be just normal. Alright, and uh, like they did, like, like an icon in here, <coughs> we'll do a quick start. Alright, so, obviously, hold, hold Alt to change the size. Apparently, this is the middle. If you double click on here, it'll take you to a new page. Then you can color overlay. Change the color to yellow. Just like so. If you click X, save, yes, and then boom. Alright, next you want to get your pen tool, change it to white. Then you're gonna wanna click, click. Do a little drag, and then you're just going to go around like so. Obviously, this will change, and then you're going to want to alt, hold the alt, and click it down. And then you want to change to overlay twenty percent, and then there we go. That's a generic money counter. Oh. And then next, we're going to do um, one of them. So you're going to want to same thing. Alt and Shift at the same time. Um, control A. Move to the middle. Change these to 20. Uh, control V to get our blue. <coughs> Just like so. Um, blend in options. Our stroke familiar of 4. That's cool. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. All that. In the shadow, we'll change our shadow back to 10. And then we'll drag in our... Whatever you have, obviously. But for this, I'm going to use a click. And then you're going to want to... Shape it. Uh, I mean, um, rotate it. So you just rotate. And then... Center it, control V, maybe make it a tiny bit bigger. Uh, never mind. Alright, and then another way you can change really fast blending options, color overlay. Boom. There you go, that's one button done. You can control C, control V to make another one. This time we're going to change the color of this one to orange, a brighter orange. This could be used for like mega clicks or whatever you want. And then you're just going to merge these together. Control G, clickers. And then here we go. And then uh, tutorial pretty much over. Uh, thanks for watching uh, this GFX comic tutorial. Uh, tune in next time for episode 2 where we'll be going over, we'll be creating the pets UI and the rebirth UI.